I'm Hugh Hanmer uh, and I'm a research ecologist at the BTO uh, and I'm the lead author on this paper. Tawny owls are a commonest owl species, from that matter a raptor species. So we think there's about 50,000 pairs in Britain uh, and they're spread pretty much everywhere. We have trees and on some of our closest, closer islands as well. But they're not, not present in places like islands. They do get picked up on our daytime surveys, like our breeding bird survey, but we don't know, really know what that means. So they could be declining, they could be stable, we're not quite sure. So instead what we tend to do is we carry out uh, dedicated surveys for this sort of species. So the aim of the survey was to look at the drivers of occupancy and detectability in tawny owls, i.e. where are they, what sort of habitat are they in, and when do they make noise. So tawny owls are the kind of the classic twit to owl, but actually that is a pair duetting together. So the female tends to make a kweek noise and the male hoots back and together that, that forms that, that twit to woo, so-called so twit to woo. I'm Michelle Reeve and I'm the Garden Bird Watch Manager at BTO. BTO Garden Bird Watchers were invited to take part in the Tawny Owl Calling Survey over two winters spaced a decade apart. The volunteers were asked to spend 20 minutes one evening a week listening from their house or garden for Tawny Owl calls. On that evening they were asked to record the time they listened, the date, the weather and whether they heard any male or female tawny owl calls. We found that tawny owls were most associated with broadleaf woodland, uh, which is their main habitat, so that's not surprising. But they tended to decline with urbanisation, uh, which would use artificial nightlight to measure. Uh, in terms of when they were active, I, when, they were, when were they calling the most, they were, they were most vocal during the autumn and in the early spring and that's because in the autumn you have dispersing juveniles and they come into contact with your territorial pairs that and that so they shout at each other whereas in the spring you get more just general territorial behavior because so many people took part in the survey we were able to determine that only five or six visits would be needed to a survey site over a season to reliably predict the presence of tawny owls this means that in the future, surveys can be structured so that it is easier for more people to take part while still providing enough data for reliable results. Citizen scientists are vital for carrying out conservation surveys on this scale. With over 9,000 people taking part across Britain, we are able to determine the effect of urbanisation on tawny owls much more quickly than if we deployed one or two scientists over the course of several years. Involving members of the public in research like this has also been shown to increase their overall environmental awareness and understanding of science.